Welcome back everybody. Uh, it's lovely to see you all again. Um, today we're going to continue learning about the letter R. And remember R makes the sound R. Let's have a go at drawing an uppercase R in the air. Remember we need to use our two fingers. And it goes down, around, and a kick out to the side. One more time. Down, around, kick out. That's an uppercase R. I hope you're trying this at home too. And now let's do an, a lowercase R. Two fingers. It's got a little hook. Around, back up the same line. And a bit of a wave. One more time. A hook. Around, back up the same line. And a little bit of a wave. A word that starts with R is robot. Today we're going to make two different kinds of robots. First one's going to be a drawing. So I'm going to draw a robot. Square head, a neck, a rectangle body, some arms, legs, some triangle eyes, and a mouth and some zigzags on his chest. That's my robot. I'm going to have a go now at writing a sentence about my robot. What sentence could I write? Hmm. I could just write, this is my robot. Whenever we start writing, we always have to start with an uppercase letter. So my sentence is going to be, this is my robot. Four words. This has to start with an uppercase. T H I S. That spells the word this. Then I have to leave my space. Is. I, I, is. Is the word is. Another finger space. That's one, two words. This is my, mm, my, this is my robot, lowercase r, o, b, o, t. That's it, there's my sentence. This is my robot. I'm finished. <gasps> You're right, I forgot a full stop. Full stop means my sentence is finished. I'm going to make a robot out of some boxes. So if you don't feel like drawing a picture of a robot, you might have some boxes laying around the house that you can make a robot out of. So I just got some boxes and I put some red paper on the front of them. And I'm going to use this one as my body and this one as my head. And I've got some sticky tape that I'm just going to use to stick them together, like that. So now I've got my robot head and my robot body, but it needs some arms and some legs. So I've got some strips of paper here and I'm just going to fold the paper. So I'm going to fold it that way, then I've got to fold that way. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to fold it again. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to fold it again. And then flip it over, fold it again. And what's happening is it's getting this nice kind of zigzag pattern. So I'm going to keep doing that for both the arms and the legs. So now I'm going to do some writing about my robot. I'm going to write, my robot is red. So lots of R words in there. So we need to start with an uppercase letter, my. Uppercase M, down, down, down. My 
Don't forget your finger spaces. Robot. R O B O T. My robot is. <laughs> My robot is red. R E D. And a full stop means I'm finished. Okay, boys and girls, now it's your turn. You can either draw a picture of a robot and write about it, or you can make a robot out of some boxes and some things that you have at home and write about it. Make sure you take a photo of your writing and you send a photograph to your teacher. Bye.